Hi guys <laughs> and welcome to my craft table. Today we are doing something that I had never done before um, and it totally surprised. Uh, it was I, the whole time I was doing it I'm going I don't think this is gonna work. I really don't think this is gonna work but oh my god it worked and it's just gorgeous and I'm not I'm not even gonna tell you uh, you you're gonna have to see this so what we're going to use is just plain glass ornament and you can get these in plastic glass um, you can get the round or the um, more flat shaped ones they can be these are the uh, four millimeter I think I'm not uh, I'm not sure but they come bigger smaller and um, you want the ones that the top will come off of like this all right so you need one of these you need uh, something to turn it over because you're going to be filling this or coating the inside part with paint. You're going to need um, some alcohol inks and I had never played with alcohol inks. I didn't know anything about them. My sister um, brought me these three, the green, the red, and the blue and said here you play with them see what you think she likes them I was basically on the fence about them because I had never used them didn't know how to use them you're going to need a little bit of glitter I've chosen white you want something that you can see through you don't want a dark color you want um, the iridescent or the white and I do um, advise to get the um, fine glitter. I get this from uh, Walmart all the time. And you're going to need some white paint. And I am I just use acrylic. I'm almost out of this, but it's the out apple lid. I can't talk today. Plus I'm fighting a cold, so if I sound worse than usual, I blame it on the cold. Um, this is apple barrel, just plain white. Any kind of acrylic will do. And let's see what else do we need. Oh, you're going to need um, some kind of little sponges. Now I use these. These are um, wedge sponges. Uh, they're for makeup. You'll find them in the makeup aisle. They you get. 32 to a package. They're not very expensive. Um, well, there's no price tag on them, so I'm not sure. But um, they pull apart like this. They're just little wedges like this. And uh, you can cut these and you can actually shape them, you know, cut them in shapes and stuff like that. I use these for painting all the time and today you're going to be um, painting and daubing. They're great for daubing you know, like this instead of buying the daubing brushes you can use these. So you're going to need some of those and uh, because uh, we're using glitter and we're going to be using it loose I advise you to get a uh, large paper plate or plastic plate, something that you can um, pick up and dump back in, uh, paper towel, uh, I've got some uh, parchment paper down here just to keep the paint off my cutting board, which I don't know why because my, paint, my cutting board is already uh, covered in paint. So let's get to it and I'm going to show you the surprise um, as we do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little 
wedge here and I'm going to pick a color. And the green I found is the lighter of the, of the three. And I'm going to take some green. And with these, they're, they're just like water, so be careful when you're doing this. And basically put the tip up against the sponge before you tip it. And just put some dots here and there. There's really no rhyme and reason. Just don't soak the whole thing. You don't need to soak it. So you've just got some dots on there. And I want you to daub on your glass. Just daub. Don't smush. Just daub. Make little dots here and there. Like that. And if you can tell, you can't really see it. See? It's so translucent, you can hardly see it. But in person, you'll be able to see where you're, uh, it's starting to dry up on you. Just add a little bit more. Just little dots, you don't, don't squirt it. And dab, 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 dab all over you can uh, tip it back up if you're using glass and if you're going to stick your finger in it be very careful because I've run across several of the glass ones that had pointed edges and um, very sharp and it hurts but if you got the plastic ones, you're pretty much safe. But just daub here and there. All right. Until you think, <laughs> if you can see it, until you think it's got enough. All right. And now you're going to go to the next color. And because uh, red and yellow don't get along very well, I'm going to go right to the blue. And this is the darker of the three. So this is going to show up a little better. And just like before, I put the tip right up against it. And make some dots here and there. You don't want to cover the whole thing. You don't want squares. And, and again, I'm going to start dabbing. And you'll see because you're on top of the alcohol ink, the, the yellow, it's going to kind of spread. And you will see the dots. I'm not sure if you can. It's really very translucent yet. And this is where I started thinking, well, this is not going to be a very pretty ornament. Trust me. Wait. Just give it give it a chance. I'm gonna put some more of the dots on here. And don't get impatient, don't drip it because it'll run all over and it just loses the effect. You just want some little dots of blue here and there. And you don't have to um, touch. See, mine is starting to get kind of square. I'm losing the dot part. And if that happens, and if you don't like it, what you do is you take a pair of scissors and you cut off about a quarter of an inch and you have a fresh start. And then you put more dots 
and you dab again. See? There's your dots back. Just like that. Now for the red. And same thing. A couple dots here. and start dabbing. And the reason um, that uh, this basically was in my eyes not going to work is because it is so so very light and I prefer a little bit more solid I want to see the colors I want them to really pop well come to find out after I figured out what was going on I had actually done this backwards. And I'll show you in a minute once I get the rest of these red dots on what I should have done first. But I had to show you the surprise element that was that I was able to experience. And it was a, such a pleasant surprise. All right. So there's my ball. And like I said, you can hardly see anything. It doesn't look any different. There's just a little bit of color and of course the red just shows right up really nice, but the blue and the and the green, uh, not so much. And I was kind of disappointed. So I let it sit here for a few minutes. In fact, I actually forgot about it. And then I came over and I was cleaning up. And I kept looking at it and looking at it, and I thought, well, how could I get that to pop? And that's where this comes in. And I thought, well, I can't hurt it. So I emptied, just about emptied, um, some white paint in there. And I think I ha actually did empty so this one is empty, but gladly I have more. So I poured some white paint into it and I want to show you what happens when you put white paint behind it. Now do you see? Go 
course I need much more white paint but just like you would a squirrel paint do you see those colors popping look at that so I'm gonna pour some white paint some more white paint in here and I'm gonna swirl it around like this this is still wet I didn't let it sit long enough but it's sticky it's not really wet and I will swirl around some paint just enough to get it going and then I'm going to turn it over and let it drain and I'm going to show you what happens when you do it the right way now this one just a plain white that's all that's in here and my hands have I've got sticky on them but just plain and we're going to do the same thing we're going to take our ink oh, actually let's open them all and I want to show the, you the effects okay so we have the green and let's see, this was the green. I'm going to give it a fresh start. And we're just going to start dabbing. Now, do you see it? See how easy that was? All you have to do is learn how to do it in the first place. Look at that. Okay. Just dub. That's all there is to it. And if you put um, more ink on top, you can see the other spread. But look at that. So much nicer. Like I said, surprise. All right, and then we'll go for the some blue. Little dabs of blue here. Of course, we have to have the red, which I seem to have misplaced. Who knows? Um, here's some red. Oh, it's right behind me. Let's give it a fresh start. some red <laughs> reminds me of a garden and if you can see once you put if you put uh, alcohol ink on top of alcohol ink you get like edges and it makes the ink on the bottom move a little bit also but look at that see how pretty and it popped right out. There is n no translucency. And it's just like using those um, oh, uh, porcelain, the white porcelain ones. 
if you can't get a hold of them, I've heard people are having trouble, you know, getting a hold of them. If you can't get a hold of them, pour some white inside of a glass one, and then go right to town. But just keep dobbing. And like I said, if if um, it dries up on you, you want a fresh start, just trim it off. It doesn't soak in very deep. And also, uh, the glitter. If you put down wet alcohol ink, let's try some here. And, oops, you should open this first. Right. So, I am going to pour a little bit, actually, I'm going to pour some in a spoon, like that, just a little, just a tiny bit. All right, and now I'm going to take some blow, and I'm going to dab it here and there. Not a lot, don't get too far ahead. And then you take your glitter and sprinkle it like you would over a donut or something like that. And just a little. Uh, glitter will stick to wet alcohol ink because it has a resin in it. So just sprinkle a little bit. And then take it, and you have frosted. But you can see the sparkles are, you can see the alcohol through the sparkles. And it makes it look frosted. So this is our surprise of the day. So just cover a or fill a white fill a glass ball. Speak, Bana, speak. Alright. Pour some white paint in a glass ball. Okay. Take some alcohol ink. Put on sponge. Dab sponge. If it turns square and starts smearing, trim sponge. If you like sparkle, add glitter. If you don't like sparkle, don't add glitter. That's set, dry, and you're going to have a beautiful ornament. So, how easy was that? And how nice to have a, a pleasant surprise for the day. So I hope you had a good inspirational surprise and I hope it made you smile. I know it did me. So you have a good day and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye now.